All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We've got another package in today from Eugene, Oregon. A spinner from Bastion. Nothing else in there. Bastiongear.com uh, is where I recommend uh, you pick up uh, this spinner. There are not any Chinese knockoffs just yet, but I'm sure there will be. Bastion Gear, uh, like most companies, makes different um, trigger guards and handles and magazine releases and shields and other things like that. Another EDC gear um, for uh, firearms and rifles and wearables, and they make pens and trays and wallets and other things like that. But today we're looking at their spinner. Nice little magnetic uh, clasp uh, on this box. And we're taking a look at their uh, Bastion EDC, EDC Everyday Carry Spinner Fidget Toy in Silver. This is the small. They do make a larger one. They do make them in two different colors, sort of a brass gold kind of color and a uh, silver. Nothing in there underneath. It's a like very nice little like lining in here. Oh, yeah, just a piece of foam. That's it. That's a little backdrop for this foam. Okay. So, spinner. Uh, it's $50 retail shipping. It depends on, uh, uh, you know, what, 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 what you're looking for. Um, well, that is freaking terrible. Um, <laughs> really disappointed right there. Um, just take a look at this real quick. So you've got some uh, sort of rubber bits up here. It's not, I wouldn't really call it rubber. And there's a, there's a name for it. I'm not sure what that name is. I'm going to check out their website here real quick, see if I can get some information on that. Okay, so it's made with G10. Uh, G10 accents, and that's something that's used uh, in firearm grips and other things like that. It's CNC machined out of a titanium body, which the color is then anodized. It has a hybrid ceramic bearing, which doesn't spin for very long. We'll troubleshoot that here in a second. Oh, wow. That, that bearing is actually like completely falling out. So I, I just like moved the bearing accidentally, and it spins for a lot longer than what it did right out of the box. So maybe it just got bumped in shipping. So it's CNC machined, like I mentioned, hybrid ceramic bearing. CNC, CNC, I don't know why I can't talk today, uh, metal buttons that are there, and the magnetic lid presentation box, as my co-host joins to see what we're looking at. Um, so I do, I really love the design of this, like, it's just, it's just incredible. Um, so you can see Bastion gear, they've got their little logo uh, there on the side, kind of hard to see in the lighting, and my focus doesn't want to cooperate with me right there. Uh, the G10 accents are awesome 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 and uh, the cat seems to approve so that's always good buttons are are nice so there is some play uh, in this I, I'll, I'll kind of show you um, there is some play in how you can move the button here and I assume you could just I mean you could you could move it all the way out and you know be able to re replace the bearing that's in there uh, relatively easy uh, I like I'd like just the form factor of it it's very different than anything else on the market. Uh, I've got a Noble Spin Virtu, incredible, very basic design. I've got a Noble Spin Ash Nebulas. I've done reviews on both of those. Go check those out. A very uh, the Ash Nebulas was a little more unique design, but it's it's still pretty common in the uh, spinner market. Um, but with Bastion, I I really found that you know not only was their price point nice at fifty dollars rather than the you know couple hundred dollar or you know hey get out of here uh, or the you know close to a hundred dollar option so for 50 bucks it's really quite nice uh in terms of build quality and everything like that so you, you just gotta rub up against everything they want they're here to see the spinner they're not here to see you um so love the build quality um it was just that bearing uh that was on the inside there that uh, careful um, that was giving me uh, headaches when I unboxed it don't bite it 
So there is a review on here, one review on their website. If you go to bastiongear.com, where I got mine from, and I recommend that you uh, get yours from. Great looking spinner, uh, which is why this is a two star rating, not a five star rating, or anything less than that. But the bearings garbage. Max twelve second second uh, spin time. Fifty dollar spinner. You should get at least two to three minutes at minimum. Rethink your bearing choice, Bastion, because this one is trash. Uh, fix that, and this will be an awesome spinner. And and two other people found found the review helpful. Um, now, right when I took mine out of the box, it was you know didn't didn't spin very well. You guys saw it. Um, I'm gonna do a quick one-handed spin here, and we'll see how long uh, this goes for. Uh, let me get my phone out here real quick. I can time this. be able to see it on camera, but I'll, I'll at least have the number here. So how's everybody's day going? Everybody having a uh, good day so far? Uh, delivery with this, uh, it does have free shipping, um, depending on what kind of shipping you want. Um, shipping starts between 7 and like $50 if you want something overnight, but their uh, website's absolutely great. Uh, great customer service in my opinion. The uh, spinner was actually delivered a day earlier, and I only took the free shipping uh, option just to you know save a couple bucks. Um, but for fifty dollars, it's really really good. Um, I like the form factor. I think it'll it's you know got a good pocketability, if that's a word we'll say. And um, you know compared to some of the other larger spinners that I have, like an Ash Nebulous or um, some of the little. 3D printed tri spin ones that I have. Um, you know, this one I think the form factor and the shape and the build quality uh, are all well worth the $50 plus, you know, how nice and easy uh, it is to be able to throw into a pocket and go uh, is, is pretty darn good. So, so you're at about 100 and it's going to have a hard time focusing on it. So, about a minute 14. Um, with just a one-handed spin. I'll do a two-handed spin now. See how long we can get that going. Uh, anything over 60 seconds really is fine for me, especially in the $50 range. So anything over 60 seconds is probably fine. The hybrid ceramic bearing certainly not as nice as maybe a full ceramic bearing, but, uh, you know, that's why it's $50 and not a $200. You want to 11 minute spin time and it to be made out of you know silver and plutonium yeah you're going to want to spend you know two hundred dollars on a pepiaca or, or one of those crazy other spinners that are out there so for fifty dollars people that are complaining uh with these reviews just just go ahead and get out of here and return yours because this is a very nice spinner for fifty dollars I don't know, we might be getting around to the same same time here. We're coming up on 55 seconds, and it's starting to slow down pretty good now. Uh, you can definitely, it's a quiet bearing, very quiet. I like that the um, Noble Spin Spinners that I have are very loud bearings. They spin for uh, between two and five minutes, uh, but a very, very loud spin. Um, so, you know, if you're trying to, uh, you know, just unwind and relax in a quiet space. Um, you know, it's it's not the most convenient when it's got that, you know, little bit of uh, noise to it. So, yeah, you're looking at about, you know, one and a half minutes uh, right out of the box. Two-handed spin versus a one-handed spin. Um, now, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, and the guy that wrote his review, like, three seconds after he opened it out of the box, it does, bearings do take some time to break in, so they say between uh, 30 to 90 days for bearing break in, uh, and then speeds will improve. I'm not sure how much they'll improve. Are you going to double your speed time? Maybe not. Uh, a lot of people also recommend cleaning bearings. Um, also an important part of maintaining uh, the spinners that we have here. Man, it is so nice. Like, look at that. I, I don't know if the camera's catching that, but you get that super nice little reflection off of the uh, little Allen bolts that uh, hold the G10 accents on. So that looks just really, really nice. And um, they've got uh, the nice little Bastion gear uh, labels on the one side, just like Noble Spin and some of the other high-end spinners. So 
I don't know what, what else to talk about uh, about this, but really, really nice spinner. Love the form factor uh, and the size and other things like that. I think it's this will probably be my everyday uh, spinner. Some of the noble spin spinners that are, you know, close to 100 bucks. those are like almost a little too nice. Longer spin times and other things like that. But spin times I'm not too terribly concerned with personally. I'm more of a fidgeter, so I'm, I'm you know, doing something like this, getting, you know, 30 to 60 second spin times at the most, rather than looking for a, you know, long spin and, and watching it unwind. Um, pretty good balance to it, really no wobble uh, to speak of. The indented buttons that are here are really incredible. I mean, you've got so much... Um, you know, control with it, and you get some good balance and other things like that uh, with it, just because it's, you know, not a flat button or, you know, something that's uh, cheap. These buttons are actually really, really nice. A little bit on the small side. I have pretty small hands, um, but very nice if, if you like to do the, you know, one-handed, you know, watch it go kind of tricks as it breaks my phone screen. Um, so let me know what you think, guys. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Comment if you have any questions or other things like that. I'll break this in, probably use this as my daily for the next, I don't know, couple of weeks or until I get until I get another one. And uh, don't forget to check out my other reviews of the Noble Spin Spinners. I'm also uh, getting ready to get some more uh, 3D printed ones in as well. And we're going to kind of compare some of the nicer metal, you know, $50 to $100 spinners to the less than $50 uh, 3D printed uh, market kind of talk about is it really worth the money for something like this or you know are you better off you know maybe getting two or three lower end uh, lower end 3D printed spinners for that kind of money so thanks for hanging around guys make sure you subscribe make sure you go see the other reviews of the spinners that I've done and we'll see you in the next one